Okay, so before we start looking at how to edit the images uh, and how to create the web pages, I thought I'd do a small video in between um, to talk about um, where I've got the files from, how I'm gonna organize my folder, and then have a very brief look at the scenario and try to understand what we need to create. Okay, so first things first, um, the website I've got them from, the Edexcel webpage, which I'm gonna put in the link below. Um, this has all the past examinations for CIDA of the recent years. So starting from January 2018, June 2017, January 2017, June 2016, January 2016, and then lastly June 2015. Um, most of them are locked, so you can't download them all. Um, but I'm going to use this one here, June 2015, which is an unlocked one. Apart from the masking, which is locked, really we don't need that. I've downloaded the assets folder. And the question paper is what I have here. And the downloaded assets folder, which I just put into a folder on my documents, I'm going to unzip that. So extract those files. Let's just extract here. Okay. And inside that, I can see there's a folder called assets and images, evaluation. So the info folder is where we will find all the text that we need, uh, which will need to go on our web pages. This is the video uh, that we need to embed onto our um, web page as well, one of our web pages. And if we open the images, it will be all the images that we need to use when creating this website. You don't really need to go on the web because everything you need is, is given here. So um, I'm gonna create my pages right here in this assets folder. Um, so before we do that, before we start doing that, let's have a look at the scenario quickly. So the scenario tells us we need to create five pages, a home page, an about us page, an activities page. And then it says two more pages, treetops, escapade page, and a junior escapade page. But these two can only be accessed from the activities page. So I'm assuming there's probably going to be a navigation bar with these three pages. But these two pages will only be linked to the, S the activities page. Right. It says contents must be visible without scrolling. And this is the resolution they've given us. So... We shouldn't have to scroll up and down on the pages. Everything should be um, easily seen and viewed. Um, okay, we need to in include some facts about Escapade, uh, which is in the info file, like I mentioned. Um, images taken from the assets folder, which may be edited. Um, need to include accessibility impaired, for impaired, visually impaired users, which will explain that. Um, and then a consistent design across the website, which basically means that every single page should have a very similar theme uh, same colors, same fonts, etc. So this is the important part. When we look at page template, it tells us the requirements of of um, what our design should look like. So here it's telling us uh, we need to have a banner, including a suitable image and the company logo. The banner should extend f uh, to the full width of the page. And we know the full width of the page is here, 1024 pixels wide. Um, and underneath that, it tells us the logos, which where it can be found. Um, and it's telling us a navigation bar linking to three main pages. So we need the uh, three buttons. And it's telling us that each button, the homepage button, the about us button, and the activities button, they've all got different hex color codes. So each button will have a slightly different color identifying it. Um, and it's telling us we need a footer, um, which includes a smaller version of a logo, an email address linked to it. A, a, a button of an email address, um, a button for the I a Facebook icon linking to the Facebook page, and a Twitter icon linking to the Twitter page. So um, that's the main elements that are required for the template. It's not telling us what colors we should use for like the background or anything like that, but it's just telling us what colors we should use for the button. So what we'll do is we'll probably base the main colors with some with some colors that, or some sort of color for the background or you know for the banner and stuff that um, matches or works well with these colors here okay after that it um, tells us some information about each page which we'll look at later um, and it tells us that all our images need to be in PNG format which we will do and they all must be a certain size so Later I'll show you how to compress your files to make sure that they're no bigger than this file size and that they're all PNG format. And it says the video file should be MP4 or MP4V file format. 
Um, if we just take a quick look, we can see the video at the moment is AVI file. So we need to convert that. And then images, most of the images are PNG. There's a bitmap and there's a few JPEGs. So we just have to make sure that in the final version, all images have this PNG extension. Okay, so with that done, we will look at um, in our next video creating the image banner and the navigation bar buttons. So that will be our first step before we start creating the pages. All right, so jump over to the next video to start that.